three minutes. And uh, I couldn't be here earlier today for personal reasons, but Geraldine, I did hear your comments earlier on about distress, mental health, and I want to say from my perspective, I can see the pain on your faces last week and this week. I know you wish that this would have not happened, but uh, I would hope that at all times when I ask questions that I'm fair and upfront. And I'm going to start with, the, um, with Rory again, because in fairness to you, I initially brought up about the music of the toy show, and you gave a direct answer saying it didn't work out. And that's fair enough. <coughs> things flop, things go well. It happened to myself in life, it happens to lots of people, if we were to be honest. But can I just say this? Was the board continuously informed about the cost of the, the musical as you went along and seen that it was not going to be a success? And was Ryan Turbidy on board from the start? I mean, my information is that he wasn't on board from the start. Uh, you said last week it was your idea. Were there other people involved that would have come to you with this idea? Just on the costs, I mean, you'll see from the numbers we raised today, the costs actually, we came in under cost. The problem was actually revenues, not costs. Um, but yes, I mean, that we would have had, we had, we were, had meetings every week with finance on costs, and I would have kept the Director General particularly uh, abreast of how that was, how that was going. Um, Rachel and to Ryan, look, I mean, he's perfectly entitled to, to, to take a view on a project. You know, he's, he, he, he um, you know, uh, he was he was asked and consulted with, with by the producers. The two producers of the of the musical were the producers of the Late Late Show at the time, um, and they had various con conversations with him. He, he didn't he didn't want to be part of it, but he was supportive of them. So, um, so basically, Ryan Darby and Owen Kelly were not involved in this project. No. Okay, that's fair enough. But it was the two producers of the Toy Show. It was their idea. They 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 came up with the original concept. That's fair. That's fair enough. Just want to clarify. <clears throat> Um, can I also ask, in relation to um, the car issue, and I, I'm sorry to bring this back up again, but maybe, Adrian, you might answer this. I, I don't want to, to bring everybody in on this, because time is limited. You stated earlier today, from what I picked up from listening to the debate, that there was one secret car deal. Are you absolutely satisfied? And let's be truthful here, because I tell you, I can see a marked difference in the way you've been answering questions today. And I, I give you credit for that. And I can tell you from the public's perspective, if you answer the questions directly and honest and straight, they will give you credit for it. So can we get absolute clearance here? One secret car deal you said, you said the car has been handed back this week. No other secret car deal. Are so, there more secret car deals? Let's be honest about it. Yeah, I'll be totally honest, which is, um, is I'm getting the information is still coming in because it is a staff of 1,800 people. So I'll be looking at everything, and I will share it once I have it compiled. And then, obviously, we need to, in all of this, you, we need to talk to the individuals, find out the circumstances, okay. find out if there was an approval or not. But I will come back to you with all that information. That's fair enough. So it's, it's not just one secret car deal. You're, you're obviously holding on that at the moment. There may be more. Am I correct in that? Possible. OK, OK. Yeah. And that information will come to as quickly as possible. Correct. OK. Um, I want to maybe put a question to you again, Adrian, and, and to Robert. On the basis that Anya Lawler, Mary Wilson, Dara Maloney, George Lee, maybe one or two more, Dara Maloney I mentioned, all employees of RT have publicly stated their salaries. Would you not think it would be a good idea for some of the rest to voluntarily give that information, seeing their colleagues have done it. It's, it's, an, indivi it's an individual decision. Well, would you, would you like to consider it? No, well, I would say it's an individual decision for each individual. Some individuals come forward, so it's an individual decision. Yeah. I can again tell you that in the eyes of the public, and I mixed with a lot of people over the weekend, people who have come out and made public their salary because it's public money are actually being well respected by the public. Robert, can I ask you the same question? I'm not going to labour it. You're, you're, you're a journalist I, I yourself. I'm telling you my salary, Senator, if you want to. Not you personally. I'm just saying I, on I'm the I'm just basis saying that you, you raised it, so I'm, I, yeah, but just I have on no the problem basis in telling you. That your colleagues, George Lee, Brian Dobson, Mary Wilson, Darren Maloney, all your lawyer, have voluntarily come out and said, this is our salary. Would you like to see more of your, your employee colleagues doing that? I think it's entirely up to them. I think it's a personal decision. My own view is that we are on... Uh, most of us are on uh, union negotiated salary grades and I don't have a problem making that public. Okay. 
Just again, in relation to what most people would see, the high rate of salaries. And we'd be all well aware of the campaign by RT to seek the license fee increase, to seek more money. But would you not think it was extraordinary that you would still continue <coughs> to pay the high level of salaries? You may make uh, the assumption, or you may actually say to us, that you did reduce salaries along the route. And that's fair enough. If you go look back at the late Gabe Burns' time and Pat Kenny's time, and now you look at Ryan Turbody, of course there's a big difference in salary. But do you not think, as you continue to press for more from the public purse, that it was very unwise to be paying such big salaries to a certain group of people? I also think in terms of the Chair's uh, earlier point is that, because uh, there was some mention of salary caps, that in a way <coughs> the market in Ireland has changed and shifted significantly, and therefore it is the market that will decide. Yeah. So, uh, Fine, I'm just going to make a comment, uh, Chair, because I know you're under pressure. And I'll go back to what I said last week, and I don't expect any of the panel to, to, to give me an answer to this. But I go back to the Minister for Communications in 2002, who recently wrote an article in, in the Irish Daily Mail, and I'm going to differ more a little bit about this about 20 years ago. And the one thing he said in that article, and look it up, he said, on the first day in that job, himself and the then Taoiseach, met with the then Director General and I think Head of Television, which was Cahill Gowan. And he said the running of the organisation at that time was shambolic. He also referred to the fact that there were 11 employees on the payroll, on the payroll, that were no longer in RTE. Now, I really think we have to go back as far as 2002 because maybe you are getting some of the blame for bad old practices that have been there for years. And at that time, something that was very unpopular with the general public was the, the big increase in the license fee, which RTE got. But things haven't changed. This is my point. 21 years on, things have not changed. I want to see RTE survive. I spent 20 years in, in, in production and presentation. I love media. I love radio in particular. And I think RTE do a lot of good work. You have some fantastic presenters do a lot of good work, and that's acknowledged. And we don't want this to fall. And I would say one final thing. Might be the most popular thing to say to people, pay your TV licence. But I don't want a situation where 200 million of revenue goes out the door. And because of that, some of the employees, particularly on the lower scale, find out that they have no jobs. Or my God. Thank you very much.